Yo, what is going on guys? It is Huggy Face Gaming here and welcome to some Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 DLC action and I am so excited to do this video because within this video I'm gonna actually be showing you guys the four new characters that are in DLC 6 so this might be a longer video than expected because I will be doing each mission individually with each different character and as well as talk to you guys exactly what's been happening with this DLC because there is a lot a lot of stuff that was added within this DLC and it might take a lot of time to grind because oh my goodness are those trophies so impossible like it's really going to take a lot a lot of time but with that being said let us get into what these characters actually look like and their stats because each character has different stats obviously since my character is level 99 every character is going to have their max set of stats so let us go all the way down and see these new characters and boy oh boy i'm pretty sure they're going to look pretty pretty cool and yep here they are so we have android 17 dragon ball super as we can see his stats are pretty balanced actually and the character model looks extremely extremely cool we have Fu, which is one of the new characters that they actually brought up from, I believe, Dragon Ball Heroes. Looking pretty cool, too. Like, he has that sword in the back. His stats are more of stamina than anything, as we can see. We have Ultra Instinct Goku, which is, I think this is the mastered one, because this is the one with silver hair, and his whole body is actually, the top of his shirt is ripped. So we could kind of assume that this is mastered Ultra Instinct. As we can see, his stats are more based off of key than anything, since the key meter is the one that's, you know, completely filled up. And we have Jiren now Jiren's stats as we can see is more of stamina and health I believe rather than anything and his character model looks pretty weird actually because you know I've never expected his upper body to be as big as his lower body like it's kind of disproportional but I don't know if that's how the anime actually is or not but he looks pretty cool too but let us actually dig deep with these characters and let us actually do this and to do this I'm actually be using Whis as my trainer because um I have to maximize uh, my friendship with Weez. If you guys don't know, to get Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan within this game, you actually have to maximize your friendship with Weez and be a level over 90 to actually get Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan, which is Super Saiyan Blue, which is something I didn't really think we were going to need. I thought we were going to have to do like a powerful quest or something. But no, we actually have to raise up our friendship with Weez. And to maximize your friendship, you either have to have your trainer as, you know, the party people or use their attacks. But since I'm using these, you know, DLC characters, there's no need to actually be doing that. So let us get in. I'm gonna actually fly away. Ooh, this looks really cool. I'm gonna actually fly away and charge up if I can, if it's gonna let me, because I actually want to show you guys all of the techniques just in case. Oh, well, Krillin's already dead. Can I even? I don't think I can actually. So let us just, I guess, get in. <laughs> It's going to be really weird, as you can see, his, you know, these character movesets are pretty different. Uh, full power energy blast volley, super electric strike. I think the electric f energy field is the one that's going to be like the one that he used within the tournament of power for, you know, majority of the fights. It's really weird, like why can't I, I can't do any of the movesets, I don't know why I can't do that. Huh. <laughs> that's really weird. And I think his health is a lot too. Like I'm looking at the health right now and the health meter is pretty big. I wonder why it's that big. That's so strange though. Why can't I... I can't charge or anything. I wonder why. Is it because like I'm super high level and these guys are really, really weak? Or is it something complete? Because I don't want to do like an extremely... You know, <laughs> I don't want to do a hard mission with these characters since I'm not used to doing uh, hard missions with these characters. If that's the case, I'll probably, you know, try it out with another character in a bit, you know. <laughs> And if that is the case, like I'm saying, yeah, I'll use it with a different character to see if it actually works. And then I'll move on to Android 17 again because I don't know why it's not working right now. But yeah, visually, Android 17 looks pretty good. Like, I'm not going to lie. And for all of you guys who don't know, I highly recommend getting this DLC because there is so much stuff added within this. I, don't, I honestly don't know why I can't use anything. Is it because of the party? people that I chose? Is it because I used Wiz twice or why can't I do anything? I honestly can't do anything. That's really weird. Oh well. 
we'll have to see why in a bit but yeah I'm, I'm i feel like it's because i'm super high level and it's like for weaker people i believe i don't know why exactly it's not letting me actually do it but like i'm saying sit back because this is going to be a pretty long video because i'm going to be showing you guys every single character and what they're actually capable of but i'm guessing i'm gonna have to do something different probably like do a higher lit a higher level type of parallel quest i'm not sure and within this dlc it actually does come with new parallel quests as well but i don't really want to do them obviously because they seem kind of hard and i don't want to dig too much all right we'll probably do one of these let's see if these work so for this one i'll probably be using Fu because Fu is like an overall new character i've never really seen Fu at all so let us actually go with Fu, and let's actually just use other people within the party so i'm gonna just use uh merge the masu again i'm pretty sure and i guess we'll go with buhan because no hardly anyone uses buhan which is kind of sad because the first dlc was so promising but no one uses those characters probably apart from tapion because tapion is just an overall a cool cool designed character but i mean dlc one i mean dlc five was the one that kind of crashed dlc six is the one that people really really want i can't you what Oh, well, I don't know why it's not letting me. Oh, there we go. Charge key wave. Huh, this one doesn't... This guy food doesn't really charge up, which is weird. Huh. Hmm, that's strange. I don't know, for me, like, those characters where you can't charge up, I kind of find weird, and I don't like using them, so I probably be won't using won't be using Fu as much, but let's actually see. Oh, we're getting hit. I actually want to hit him with one of these. Oh. Oh. That's weird. So he goes invisible when he does that attack. That's pretty cool. So that was, uh, that was Sneaky Strike. Let's see what Confusion Blade does, actually. Oh, uh, I, I keep missing these attacks. Okay, let's see what that... Okay. Uh, ooh. I don't think I'm going to be able to, like, combo into anything just because of the fact that I'm not that good at Xenoverse, but... Yeah, Fu seems like a pretty cool character. He seems like a long-range character than anything. Charge Key Wave. I honestly want to know what Charge Key Wave does, but it just seems to be like a force field, which is pretty weird, but, I mean, I guess. Now, let's try the ultimates, actually. Who's next? Kid Goku? I mean, Kid Gohan, my bad. Okay, okay. Let's actually use... Uh... Wow, is this just like another Ginyu type attack? Because I remember Ginyu does that exact same move. Remote Serious Bomb, okay, so we'll probably use that. I believe it's Goku going to be the next one that's going to come out right now. I'm guessing this is the mission I'm going to be doing to, like, showcase these guys. As you guys can see, this guy seems... Fu seems like a really good character, but just all of his attacks seem super inaccurate. Let's see what the remote... Ooh. What does that do, though? Did that take away any health? Or do I have to, like, hit him again? Or does it make him slower? Is that what it is? Because I don't see Goku moving as much. <laughs> That's super weird. Okay, well, I mean, we broke his... We broke his stamina. Might as well just end him already. <laughs> so, yeah, Fu seems like a really cool character. He has, you know, based... Um, key, which I believe, I'm just looking at it right now, his key actually goes up by itself, which is pretty cool. He has, you know, sufficient amount of stamina, and his health is pretty big, so... Fu is a really, really cool character if you learn how to play him. Obviously, he's not my type of character, because most of his techniques don't really land, in my opinion. I'm pretty sure other people find a way to make all of his techniques land, but for me, as of right now, I'm not really feeling Fu. He's a really, really cool character, and I can't wait to play the story to see exactly what he's up to within the story, because there is new story within this DLC see and i just cannot wait to play it but let's just end this mud oh that's a pretty cool technique let's just end this right now just you know <laughs> get this over with so we can move on to i'll probably save ultra Inst mastered ultra instinct goku to the very end and i'll probably be using jiren right now and since we kind of learned that it does work in this sense i will be doing uh android 17 again so i'm super super sorry that this is going to be a really really long video but i just really wanted to get this to you guys as soon as possible possible because 
this dlc for me came out yesterday but it came out really late for me so i was downloading it overnight just to get a chance to you know wake up in the morning and play it for you guys so let us get back into this i believe it was this one that we were doing and let us use jiren let's go over here jiren looking beastly we're actually gonna i guess we'll use tapion and android 13 I kind of want to get more of DLC 5 characters in here because DLC 5, like I said, kind of backfired and no one really cared about it too much. But guys, like DLC 6, just action packed. Like these four characters, they came with new figures for the, what was it, the Hero Coliseum. So I might be doing more openings for that when it actually, you know, comes out. Damn, look, at, look at his stance. Oh my goodness, guys. Like, does he have a, ma yep, he has a max charge just gosh he looks really bulked up in this game like he looks really really i don't remember the, in the anime him being this bulked up but that, look at this oh gosh this guy is i can see a lot of people using jiren now like this guy is really he's like a quick guy oh my goodness i'm liking this character already i might have to have him in my party now but let's see what techniques he has so meet oh he has meteor crash which is one of the basic ones uh power impact what does that do Ooh, power impact is the one with his fist. That's what it's called then. Right? Power impact. Yep. It's the one with his fist. I think meditation might be uh, one for his health. I'm not really too sure because meditation is just this. But I don't know what this does. Oh my goodness. What? Did his key just double from that? Wait, if I use meditation again, will it actually... Wait, if I use meditation, can I use meditation again? Will it will it increase even more? Oh, no, he won't. Well, that sucks, but I mean, he doubled it, which is pretty, pretty weird. Like, I've never seen a character actually be able to... And is it going to stay like that? If it stays like that, like, if you could actually have... Oh, oh, there's still someone left. If you could actually keep your key like that, that's really, really good. And that's, like, a cool character to... Man, Jiren might actually be broken in this game if you could actually do that. Because the meditation doesn't take that long to do. Like, it's really, really... It just takes, like, two or three seconds. Like, you could just combo into something. Make sure they're kind of unconscious for one or two seconds. And do the meditation and just have that much... Oh, my goodness. Oh, <laughs> Jiren is going to be a broke. Oh, no, it does go. Oh, it does go away. Okay, so you need to really, like, make sure you take up your time wisely when it comes to it. Because that's pretty cool, though. Like, it, it it gives you an opportunity to raise your key. That's really, really cool. So I'm actually going to be saving my supers for Goku. Because, obviously, Jiren versus Goku. Even though this Goku on this mission isn't really necessarily as strong as the Goku in Super. But, you know, we'll just... Let's just get rid of Kid Gohan. No one cares about Kid Gohan anyways. Oh, so Power Rush is the one that's going to need, like, the full-on thing. Okay. That's really crazy. Okay, let's actually try... Uh, what does this do? Oh, gosh. Okay, so that one was actually pretty powerful. It took up, like, half of his health. Let's actually do uh, meditation so we could grow the key. Or do we have to hold it? Oh, yeah, we do have to hold it, actually. Okay, and then power rush. I need to make sure I, I land this because I don't want to mess it up. Oh, okay, okay. I see you. Oh, overkill, overkill. Okay, this is pretty crazy, guys. Like, I'm really liking Jiren. He's a really, really fun character to use. Like, it's so crazy how they actually implemented him. And these moves are really, really powerful, too. Like, <laughs> we're seeing what, how much damage Jiren can do. And the fact that he could, you know, raise his key almost by double it like it's really really crazy this guy i could tell he's going to be like a top tier character like his movesets kind of combined with one another he's a really really strong guy look at this man like it takes up the full key so if you do miss you're kind of like you can't really do much unless you know how to like backtrack it once you run out of key but at the same time man like jiren's just a really really fun character look how much health he has too like this guy He's going to be broken for quite some time, guys. Honestly, like, I could tell he's going to be a broken character for who knows how long. It might be, like, another Future Trunks, because I know Future Trunks is, like, Sword of Hope. I believe that's what the move's called. That move is completely broken. I remember I'd always be, like, playing with my friend, uh, JP. If I don't think he minds me saying it. I remember playing with him, and he would always be using Sword of Hope, and that move was just completely broken. Like, it was literally rangeful. I could 
literally take up however much space you wanted you couldn't really even dodge it either because you know it was a really really long sword blade so you couldn't really do much about it like if you got hit you're basically done for this is what jiren kind of is and wow i'm just super surprised how they actually made jiren this broken like it's really really crazy but yeah that was jiren for you guys like as you guys can see this dlc really has me happy like i really cannot believe that they actually implemented all of this as a new dlc and it's really really crazy how they're actually doing this so let's actually go back to that mission and do ultra instinct goku this is really crazy guys i honestly did not believe like any of this was actually going to be happening you know since we have ultra instinct goku let us actually use super saiyan god goku and super saiyan god super saiyan goku This is just so crazy, guys. Like, I don't even know what to say about this DLC. Like, it's... <sighs> my heart right now. And like I'm saying, if you guys would like me to give one of these away, just let me know in the comment section below, you know? Just, you know, tell me if you guys... Oh, my... I didn't... I wasn't even looking at the screen. Just look how amazing this looks. Does he have a... What is this? Surging Spirit. Is this another way you could charge? No. Please tell me we could get this. Oh my goodness, guys. Look how amazing this looks. Look at the aura. Oh my gosh. Let's actually use one of the tech. Oh, we have the regular base Kamehameha. We have Meteor Crash. And Soaring Fist. What's Soaring Fist? I'm going to see what Soaring Fist does right now. But my goodness, guys. I couldn't even finish my sentence when I was talking about giving one of these away. But like, like I was saying, if you guys would like me to give away a DLC 6, please let me know in the comment section. You know, if I have a lot of you guys who do want DLC 6, let me know. And I might actually be able to give one of away to you guys. Because obviously, I know a lot of people don't really have the luxury of getting DLC 6 because of how much it costs. But if you guys would like one, please let me know. And I'll be more than happy to be able to provide one for one of you guys. Just like I'm saying, let me know. Because a lot of you guys deserve this. What does Soaring Fist? So Soaring Fist is just that, okay. It's weird because a lot of a lot of Ultra Instinct Goku moves are kind of based around just his regular moves, the Super Kamehameha, which I completely missed. But man, if we could get, I want to see what actual uh, mission gives you Surging Spirit because that's a cool way to charge. Like I thought the, I forgot what was it? I forgot what Zamasu's is. I think it was like Divine Unleash. That one was pretty cool, but this one, this one by far takes the cake. Like look how look. <laughs> I'm so happy like dude look at this aura like I'm just gonna be showing this character off guys like this is extremely crazy man and I'm super sorry Gohan but you're gonna have to go right now let me see what godly display does oh oh hopefully that's an ultimate please tell me that takes up the whole key though but gosh please let that be an ultimate please let that be an ultimate like my goodness guys does that look crazy look at that goku versus three different gokus how crazy is this his movesets are pretty cool too i actually like ultra instinct goku i think i might be using ultra instinct goku more than my own character actually which is not really going to happen but i might actually have ultra instinct goku within my party if that's even possible which, I mean, yeah, this is going to be possible. What am I saying? But, like, his moveset, he's, like, a really, really quick character. That's what I like about Jiren and Ultra Instinct Goku within this game. They're really, really fast-paced. But it's so weird because, like, this character, this Ultra Instinct Goku, seems like a Goku that shouldn't even be here. Like, look how detailed he is compared to everyone else. Like, it, it seems really... It's, this feels like a mod. Like, I'm not even using this character, but... He is here, and my goodness, am I so happy he is here. Like, I honestly thought, like, I was like, oh, I'm going to get DLC 6 because it's going to come with Jiren and whatnot. But then when they, un uh, un I don't even know what the word is. I'm so flabbergasted right now. But when they revealed Ultra Instinct Goku, I was like, yep, I need to get this deal. I mean, I already had the DLC button and whatnot, but I was like, damn, like, this is something that I'm going to be playing for who knows how long. Especially since with all the new trophies and everything that actually came out this game is going to be such a grind that fighters is going to have to be put to a side while i actually play this game but 
that's all I really have for this one, guys. I'm actually be ending it right here because I actually have to go to class. <laughs> Believe it or not, like I actually record these in the morning. So this was a really, really long video as it was anyway. Sorry I didn't get to do that much 18, not 18, 17 because I didn't, for some reason, they let me do the move sets. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. And like I'm saying, if you guys do want me to give one of these away, so you guys could obtain these characters let me know because like i'm saying dlc 6 has so much stuff in it that it's something that you guys just should you know have you know we have four characters new story new hero coliseum figures uh new you know techniques we have super saiyan blue super saiyan there's just so much new stuff within this dlc that i really want all of you guys to actually enjoy as well not just myself but like i'm saying if you guys would like that to happen leave it in the comment section below thank you guys so much for joining hopefully you guys watch the entire entire thing to see how each and every character plays out and i'll catch you all in the next dragon ball xenoverse 2 fighters super any you know dragon ball related video and any game related video as well peace